Have you been wanting to create an app for your small business, but you really aren't sure where to start or you're afraid you're going to have to have coding knowledge? Well, let me show you how to utilize JotForm's newest feature, JotForm Apps, with no coding experience necessary. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. I'm Kimberly, and I'm really excited to show you how simple this is for your small business. So if you have a form in mind that you would like to include in your app, you can come to your dashboard, find the form over on the right hand side where it says more on the left under publish, you can see where it says create an app. You can click there and you can start the process. Another way you can do it is as you can see, it's already clicked right here up at the top we have the app button and you can also choose multiple forms to include and bundle in a one app. And again, you can click the create a new app, but the other way that you can do this is we can come up to the top where it says my forms and we can create an app there. Now, these are all the apps that I've already created, but if we want to create a new one, we'll go up to the top left, the purple create app button. And you can see we can either start from complete scratch or we can choose from over 200 templates to start with. So let's go ahead and choose that option. Now, once you're here, we can either take a scroll and see if something catches our eye. Up at the top, if you have something very specific you're looking for, you can utilize the search option. Or on the left-hand side, we have all of our categories. So we can take a scroll over here and we can see which one would probably fit us best. I think for us, for a small business, I think the social bio link apps will probably fit best. But again, you can choose whatever you'd like. Let's go ahead and click here and see what we have. All right. So we can see off the bat, we have a musician, we have nail art, we have like an influencer a restaurant and then a business Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here. So at a glance, you can see up here, we have our logo, we have our header, looks like we have an image, but down at the bottom, I want you to take a look. You can see we can have multiple pages for our app. So I can see we have a home page and then we have a stores page. So let's go ahead and take a scroll and see what this looks like. So we have an order now, and then we can see the page break. And at the bottom, we have again, our store locations. So let's see how we can make this our own. Over on the left-hand side, we have an add element button. And from here, we have all of the normal JotForm basic things that you would want, like a heading, a paragraph, a link, a document, an image, or a button. But we also have things that other sites don't have, like an image slider, or you can even input a video. We can include a map, we have the social follow, and then testimonials as well. Then if you need some data elements, we also have tables, reports, and then a sent box. And then we have the normal divider and a spacer. Now, not only do we have the normal elements, we also have widgets that you can incorporate with your app. And some of my favorites are the Facebook like box and connecting it to Instagram. But you can see as we scroll, there are a lot of widgets to choose from. Now, since we started from scratch, we did not include one of our forms. So let's say that we want to connect one of our forms. I'm gonna come back over to the basic elements and then up at the top, the very first one was a form. So I'm gonna go ahead and we can either click it and it's gonna automatically add it to the very bottom of the app. But if you want it somewhere very specific, it's best to click and drag it in. So let's say I want it right above this image, the very first thing on our app. Now from here, we want to choose which form will be included in our app. I'm going to go ahead and choose the connect with me form and we'll click add forms. And there we have our form. So now you can see that that form element is selected. And then on the left hand side, we have the dots, which means that we can move it anywhere on our app. And then on the right hand side, we have some different options. Now, because this is a form, we have the edit form option. Now, if we wanted to change the name of the form, we can do that here. If we want to add a description, we can do that as well. We can change the size of the element. If we wanted it to be large, we can do that. We can also shrink it to make it smaller in size. And we can also mark it as required. We can see the little asterisk. I'm gonna go ahead and choose not to shrink it so it takes up the entire space, perfect. And then under style, we can choose to change the style. Let's see what this looks like. There, I think that fits a little bit better into the app instead of that stark white background. But again, we can play with this even more so we can even change what the icon looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this. Perfect, so instead of the orange form, we have a envelope. And honestly, if you didn't want the envelope at all, you can also choose to turn it off. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. And then I also, since the app is centered, I wanna go ahead and center this as well. Perfect. All right, let's go back and let's look at the overall app designer right up here in the top right with the paint roller. So this is where we can choose the overall look of the app. We can see we have a background image. If you would like to change that, you definitely can. Or if you wanna choose just basic colors, you can do that as well. Down at the bottom, we can also change the font family, which will affect down here at the bottom for our store locations. But something else that is really neat is the app layout. So if you choose app layouts, you can see we're currently on the default mode. So if you wanna change your entire app, instead of going one item at a time, you can come to this app layout section and you can choose them to all be shrinked, to have no icons, shrinked and no icons, left aligned, right aligned. You can change it all at once Again, instead of going to each one. So let's go up to the top so we can see it, what this looks like once we change it. I'm gonna go ahead and choose left align. So we can see it moved to the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and choose the center align. Let's see what that looks like. I honestly, I like that better. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Next up, let's go up to settings. Now under the app settings, we have a few things that we can play with here. It's automatically going to have continue forms later turned on. So if you'd like to offer that for your users, you can leave that on. Next up, once someone opens your app, it's going to ask them, hey, do you wanna add this app to your home screen? And I'll show you what that looks like. It is really neat. And you can also turn on a progress bar. The second one down is gonna be the app name and icon. So if you wanna change the name of what this is, we can do that now. Perfect, and then we can see what this app is going to look like on our user's phone if they choose to add it to their home screen. Next up, we can choose the edit icon button and we can choose from a ton of icons. We can even change the color as well. Or if you have a very specific image that you would like to include, you can upload an image right here. So let's go back, let's choose this monkey icon. Perfect. And then the last thing we can do is we can customize the splash screen. So if you'd like to change the colors on this, we can always do that. But let's go to publish and let's take a look at what this looks like. And we can either copy the link and send it to someone directly, or we can download a QR code that makes it really easy for our users to scan it with their smartphone to take them to the app. But let's just go ahead and open in a new tab. We can see what it looks like on a desktop. All right, so you saw the app open and then we have this little pop-up that says, hey, do you wanna add me to your home screen? It is super neat. So we can see here we have our form and then we have our images that were added and then we have our social follow at the bottom. But in the top left-hand corner, we have our menu. So you can see we're already on the home page. but let's say I wanna know where these locations are. If I click on stores, it'll take me to a whole new page that'll just tell me where the stores are. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm's no code app creation process, please let us know and I'll see you next time.